Marshall Major Taylor, revered and immortalized by some, unknown by many. Taylor was born in Indiana in 1878. As a young boy, he loved to perform tricks on his bicycle and it eventually led him to being asked to entertain others outside the front of a local bicycle store. As part of the act, he would be dressed in full military uniform, which led locals to nickname him the Major. His work at the shop allowed him to meet and become close friends with some of the best white racing cyclists in the world, including Louis Birdie Munger and Arthur Zimmerman, the 1893 double world sprint champion. Both would become Taylor's mentors, a relationship that would prove priceless. Because this helped to provide opportunities for him to compete at exclusive white racing events, unprecedented for a young black kid at the time. However, the emergence of Taylor's presence on the professional cycling scene became a serious threat to his white peers, as Taylor began to achieve victory after glorious victory. It was in Montreal in 1899 where Taylor rose to the very top of the world. It was here he defeated his rival Tom Butler to take the one mile sprint world championship title. However, his fame and success achieved on a track was sadly coupled with abhorrent verbal and physical racist violence. A fate no man should suffer, but he did. Taylor was a hero an icon, a legend, but largely forgotten for decades. Why? Because of the color of his skin. Marshall Major Taylor, once the fastest man on two wheels, and reason to remind us that desire, determination, friendship, and human grace collectively is the greatest force of power in any sport.